Hi, I'm on a ferry between Turku in Finland and the Åland Islands, a self-governing autonomous province, Swedish speaking, of Finland. The reason you have a semi-autonomous self-governing Swedish speaking province of Finland comes back to a lot of reasons that you find in Europe, war. Now, Åland Islands was together with Finland part of the Swedish Kingdom until they lost it to the Russians. So Finland and Ireland Islands became part of the Russian Empire until they lost it after World War I. So after World War I, as the Finns were getting their independence, Ireland Islands voted to join Sweden that the Finnish government just ignored. So the Ireland Islands stayed part of Finland as part of a negotiation in the first treaty agreed by the League of Nations in 1921. Basically, since then, Holland Islands has been running fully autonomously with special provisions as its membership of EU to not have taxation and not allow freedom of movement or at least people to buy houses and still is a semi-autonomous part of Finland and doesn't really want to change it. It's really pretty though. Another one of those weird European countries within a country within a country. So once in Iceland, once on the way to Svalbard, I'm now here in Finland, crossing the Arctic Circle, and I've crossed the Antarctic Circle, of course, going down there, and the equator, and the Tropic of Cancer, and the Tropic of Capricorn, don't know how many times, but here we are, Northern Finland, around Rovaniemi, and I'm sure I've buggered up the pronunciation of that, in Santa Claus's village. And when you send a letter to Santa Claus, it comes here. G'day. Hey, good day, good day, good day. Please go ahead. Thank you. Where do I sit? Have a seat, have a seat, please. All right, so, so, so. Okay. So, for all the kids in Australia, yeah. we've got to say, everyone says you're not real, but we now know you're real. Oh, yes, yes, know. yes, yeah, yeah. I'm not made out of plastic. No. Yes. I'm, I'm absolutely real. Yeah. So, I've, yeah, got yeah. A, I've got a really important question for right, you. Right, all right. Because you start in Australia and New Zealand. So yeah. how do you change your clothes? So you fly from here in the middle of winter down to there yeah. in the middle of summer and then you go all the way around. So do you start in a t-shirt? Oh no, 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 I'm wearing this all the time. But don't you get hot when it's like... Oh, no, that's why I'm coming in the night. Ah. Ah, now you've got See, it, now you've got it. Not only is he real, he's smart. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I'm in, in the night time, yes, yeah. Mm. And then you have to remember that, that uh, flying up there is cold. It's, That's right. it's extremely yeah. cold, so we yeah. are. So, 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 so. So, actually, all your kids there, when you write to Santa, this is where your letter actually comes yep, to yep. northern Finland. Um, yeah, to Lapland. And here's yeah. one for, to uh, Lapland, yeah. yeah. Isla Sm Smolander. Uh, that is, uh, uh, they came from 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 uh, Germany. From Germany, is it? Yeah. There you go, Papa Noel. So this yeah. is proof for everyone who writes to Santa, this is where the letters yeah. come. So a couple of closing thoughts about Finland before I hop on this train and head to Helsinki and then off to Saudi Arabia. Random thoughts, in the toilets, the accessible toilets on the train, they have a little baby's potty and a milk bottle warmer. How's that for thinking about families? The other thing about Finland that I noticed recently is I was looking at my open flights. We find the most common airport that I've been in and out of is Heathrow, not a surprise. Number two is Melbourne, not a surprise. And the third most common, equal third most common airport is Helsinki. My most common flight route is London Geneva, not a surprise. Second most common flight route is Melbourne Sydney, not a surprise. And my third most common flight route is London Helsinki. How could this be so? Well, Finnair is a one world airline. Helsinki is a very, very good and functional airport. You can literally do international transfers in 50 minutes. There's a lovely lounge there. And my little pet trick in flying New York to London is to fly via Helsinki because New York to London is normally too short. You can't get enough sleep. The jet lag is a nightmare. But if you fly New York to Helsinki, then back to London, you get an extra two hours flight time. You get to sleep. You land in Helsinki at 6 a.m. The lounge is good. You get a good breakfast. You get your suit pressed. You fly back to London. You still land in London at nine o'clock in the morning. You still have a full day's work that you can do, but you're well rested and well fed. 
and it's cheaper because it's indirect and you get more frequent flyer points because it's indirect. Maybe that's why I've been in and out of Helsinki so often. Anyway, this has been a good trip to Finland. I like Finland.